my, my wife and I had been missionaries to Dublin, Ireland for seven years, and we really realized that we are missionaries to our community. And so we, we thought to ourselves, if our, if our neighbors won't go to church, what would it look like if church came to our neighbors, if church came to our neighborhood? So we live in a, a six-story apartment community that we call our, our vertical neighborhood. And there's about 400 people that live in our building. And we are literally a two-minute walk from our front door to theirs. So we have 400 neighbors that live within a two-minute walk of us. Since we realized we were missionaries, and we realized that our story is probably not completely unique, um, we think that there are a lot of people out there who can plant a neighborhood-centered church. You know, in, a, in an urban neighborhood, things change. Neighborhoods change every seven to ten blocks. That means the uniqueness of it changes. That means things that are valuable to one neighborhood go ten blocks away, and they value something different. It looks different. It feels different. So why would we expect people, even from ten blocks away, to come to a church that is different than who they are? So we began to think, what would it look like if there was a pastor or an, a missionary who was planted in an urban environment every, you know, 10 or 15 blocks? Somebody who maybe they're not going to plant a church that grows to four or 500 people, but maybe they plant a church that would be 50 to 100 people that represents that neighborhood that they're in. Uh, perhaps it's in a coffee shop. Uh, ours is in a community center. Perhaps it's housed in a, an apartment building. Uh, maybe somebody wants to meet at parks, uh, any kind of public space. But what if there was 50 or 100 of these urban pastors, urban missionaries that were planted into neighborhoods that said, I'm going to focus and care for this neighborhood. I'm going to find out what are the questions they're asking. What are the generative things? I'm going to exegete my neighborhood and find out what church needs to look like there. And that's what I'm going to plant. So that's what we see is a, is a, a cohort of urban planters who are invested in their community and want to focus right, right where they live at. Because we believe that's where they're going to be most valuable. That's where they're going to make the most impact is right there.